So I've had some people ask me how I make my beautiful Weber barbecued chicken and I'm going to um, video the whole process and explain every step of the way. This is your standard Weber Q, it's the high top one with the thermometer and this is the standard Weber breakfast plate. Beautiful. Now nothing smart about that but this is another standard Weber breakfast plate and I'm putting it on top, face down, on top of that one at a bit of an angle. I'm going to get them both stinking hot and I've made this uh, special weapon of choice for lifting up the hot plate and you'll see why a bit later on but right now I'm going to get this stinking hot and I'll explain how I prepare the chicken. There are, there are red back spiders in the, uh, in there. Great, so we're just going to get that stinking hot. S Sandy's going to try really hard not to speak while I prepare the chicken. Show the chicken to you. Here's the chicken. It's a Meagles uh, free range chicken and they taste so much better. And, oh, doesn't that look wonderful? Did you take my knife? Oh, there it is. So, down here, dear, never mind me, we want the chicken, dear. Okay, so we give it a good wash. And what we're going to do is cut along one side of the spine. Get rid of all that fat. No, no, no. I'm going to cut down one side of the spine. Just takes a nice sharp, stay sharp. Down one side of the spine. A lot of people, including Jamie Oliver, take the spine out, but I really like it um, to nibble on. And of course, Sandy likes the parson's nose or the chook bum, as we call it. So I've just simply slipped that down the middle to a really good wash. Extra fat, totally unrequired, not non-required. How do you say that? Not required. Thank you, dear. Get rid of all that shit. And pull off. There we go. Get rid of that. I'm not getting rid of that fat. Hmm? What do you? Getting rid of that fat, not that shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, good wash in cold water. I did previously... Uh, clean the sink. Sorry, can I just get to the bin here? I did previously clean the sink. We do not keep kosher here at Parkwood Plus, but instead we actually wash the sink with hot water and detergent when, when needed. Just getting rid of the bits in the guts that I don't want. But some, a lot of these bits of guts taste really beautiful when they're cooked. And I love that spine bit. You'll see more of that later. So it's looking pretty good that side. Her, him, it, whatever. And get rid of unwanted bits of crud. Skin, skin's really fattening, you know. <clears throat> so I've done that and um, Victor taught me to I think he cuts it down the breastbone, but I cut it down the, uh, oops, down the uh, backbone. But Victor taught me to give it a good crack, which you know, looks a bit harsh, but it won't feel like thing. <laughs> What's that, dear? Nothing. So, there's our chook. Now, I'm just going to put that meat. Oops up onto the, give it a drain it a bit and move it up onto the paper towel. He's going to cook this for you, Carla. Yeah. Yeah, because my other great chicken dish, of course, is my chicken stew. Some people call it cock of them, but Carla and Stig have imbibed in it. So, I'm just drawing the goodness out of it. 
the gosh, the heck out of it. There's not a bit of fat. I'm not into fat and skin and stuff. I know it tastes good, but it's not good for us. So, just dry that nicely. Best I can. Look in good. Really good. Okay, now, I really like um, Cajun sprinkles. But it's, it's been a bit, I'm just going to wash my hands and leave it going here, but I will actually cut that bit out. I would think that was an important part of the video, washing your hands. Okay, good point. This is an important, important part of the video, so <laughs> I'm now going to, uh, well, you'll see what I'm going to do. So I use hot water and detergent to wash my hands and a dirty old trapper to dry them. <laughs> so, Sandy's going to Scotland uh, this year, so I'm using Moroccan seasoning. I'm going to Morocco. Oh, after Scotland, now I remember. Mm. So Moroccan seasoning, not, not a lot. Well, actually, there's quite a lot. Um, I'm going to Scotland, then Morocco. Yeah. So there's your Moroccan seasoning. But also, I like using, oh, sorry, Moroccan seasoning. Mm. But also, lemon salt. I know it says lemon pepper, but I'm, I've read the label. It's lemon salt. So we just sprinkle a bit of that on. Lemon was a major component of Victor's um, chicken recipe and lots of salt of course. So I like it actually. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to turn that over. Bit of pat dry. Doing its armpits. Armpits. And because I am a bit OC, I'm actually going to wash my hands again. I know the germs will get burned off anyway, but, you know. But, you know. There we go. So. Now, this side is just the same. Now, a lot of people, including Jamie Oliver, say spray fat on it, you know, oil it. Sandy always oiled things. I have found this to work really, really well. I don't like using excess oil. I don't really like using salt, but hey, you know, it tastes great. And, um,. There's our bird, and it cooks this way up only, and, and so I just plop it onto the plate, ready to slide off onto the breakfast plate. So that's now prepared, we'll just go and check the temperature, I think we need to leave it a bit longer, so we'll check the temperature in a little while, and that's done. Um, that's the preparation. Here we are. The thermometer is showing 400 Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, and uh, about 250 or so centigrade. So we're ready to. It's hot as Jesus. So we're ready to put it on the uh, put the chook on. So this is my special tool I made out of stainless steel wire rod rod wire which I'm going to pick up the stinking hot top plate careful, oh god that's really hot and put it in the special brick beautiful and then taking our beautifully prepared chicken I'm going to put it um, just slip it onto the plate skin up because it keeps it beautiful and moist and this, I don't know why it's a bit crooked, but this larger breast, I'll be sticking a thermometer in there a bit later, in half an hour or so, to um, check the temperature. So then we get our top hot plate, and simply 
plop it on top. I used to do this with a baking sheet and a uh, silicon baking sheet and a brick. That's why the brick's there. But with the two plates, it cooks both sides at the same time. It takes about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And um, so now we can go and have a drink, dear. Okay. Okay, it's about 20 minutes later. Um, the trick with Weber barbecues is you never lift the lid, but you kind of have to to have a look. Um, it's still on absolutely flat out. The other trick with the Weber barbecue is never turn it down. I'm just getting the uh, thermometer, you know, meat thermometer out of the drawer here. And I'm going to, oh, that's looking so good. I'm just going to stick it in to the thickest part I can see um, without, I don't want to leave the lid up for too long. So we'll just whack that in there. It's, it's on about pan, so it's not even cooked yet. So that's great. Now, um, when it comes off, I want to put it in a warm pan. So I've got a nice uh, baking dish here. So I'm just going to put upside down on the Weber to uh, warm it in preparation for removal and I'll come back out in another uh, five ten minutes or so okay so it's uh, perhaps a bit over half an hour the baking dish is getting nice and hot let's just see what temperature the um, bird is up to oh yeah so that's it's now showing it's up to um, lamb you can see that it's up to lamb. Uh, I like to take it off one animal before it's due. So um, I should get the missus to come and film this, but she's busy watching the news. So perhaps we'll try it here. It might work alright. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So what I do is I get my uh, not patented special tool. And remove the hot top. Oh wow, that looks fantastic! Hot top plate. Put it back in its groove, brick, brick groove. I can turn the Barbie off. Watching out for the red ones. And then simply, it's a bit not that simple, but I'll simply. Remove the thermometer and remove the chook. Oh gosh, that looks good. Actually, I should, I should just show how good that looks. It's so all brown and toasty, beautiful. And I'll just lift that off with the long tong into the ow, baking dish looking good and see see how it sizzles how beautiful woof, woof. okay now we'll just take that inside and chop it up and we'll be ready to eat in a little while okay here we are I've brought the uh, bird in question inside, I've got the long tong. This is Sandy's favourite um, potato mashing fork. It's a beautiful fork and it's very sturdy. It's good for picking up the chalk. This is uh, not an art form, okay? Oh, looking good. No pink. No pink whatsoever. Beautifully moist. Oh. Uh, Sandy would be here filming this for me, but she's unfortunately watching the news. So there's my beautiful piece of um, spine that I really like. I always give Sandy the Parsons and those. Anyway, you get the idea. You don't have to watch the rest of this. Lovely. That's ready. Um, dear, dinner's ready. 
Now the only other thing is I'll just show you a trick that Carla and Stig taught us, which we haven't actually tried. But in order to get the plates hot, you stick them in the microwave for one minute. No idea if this works, but they're absolutely adamant that it does. So Beautiful. That works. No water, no nothing. That, that works. Is <laughs> chicken uh, would you like, darling? I want the spine, but I'll give you the chook bum. You do the chicken. Nose. You do that. Not oh, I'm salad. doing that. Yeah. I know what you want. You want wing. I'll do salad. Oh, that's. Maybe that's a bit of my spine. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> there's your wing. And I know you like to stick as the drum. Right, here we go. Your, over. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I've got bowls for this, huh? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it doesn't matter because they're warm plates. More spine. And, um. Okay. Let's see. Sandy's Parsons nose. <laughs> You go, darling. <laughs> How are we doing? I'm and watching I, Prince Charles. I on do TV. like a bit of breast too. Mm, yeah, you do. So let's see how we go. Oh, um, and a bit of pepper. Sure. But and I do want you to. Is the chicken cooked? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. No okay. pink. No pink. But I do want you to no. taste a little bit. No, it's not. Okay. Taste a little bit, and then tell the audience how tender and moist it is. It looks moist and it looks tender and I'm going to eat its bum. Beautiful. Oh, you want me to eat it or you want to eat it? You're eating it. Come on. <laughs> Tell the camera how beautiful and moist it is. <laughs> it is beautiful and moist. It's moist. Now, here's a chewy bit of breast, which I do like, and it's very moist. Mm. Mm. It's superb. It's mm. done a beautiful job. Do your best, Mavo Mara. Mm. Yeah. Now can we turn the camera off so I can enjoy my meal, please? Certainly. Thank you. Mm. Great acting.